It's your boy. Misa back. <laughs> what is going on, YouTube? What is good? It is your boy, Kos, and um, back to make fun of Disney War stands all day. Let's go. All right, so um, let's explore the jungle of Twitter together, of Disney shill Twitter together. Um, Show Wars are back. I guess it's the, it's the return of Show Wars. But let's let's mock these clowns together, shall we? All right. So the jungle of Twitter is um, well, it's a seedy location full of unsavory characters. Um, key among them being this Disney War show. Dear Lucasfilm, Ray Skywalker series when <laughs> Now, as you know, um, I've exposed plenty of uh, Disney bot and uh, Disney show on Twitter, on this website. This website has been a gold mine. It has been comedy gold for uh, quite some time for me, and. It's been it's been a while since I've uh, <clears throat> since I've I've gone spelunking into the depths of Twitter purgatory of Jack Dorsey's butthole. <laughs> I'm just playing. No, but th this this site is pure is really cancer. Um, and I at some point almost considered getting off this site, but you know it's just too fun to mock people like this. Uh, who sell their souls for this uh, Disney trilogy, and um, okay, so I found this post today, and it, it seems like everyone is just roasting this guy, uh, palpy memes, palpa memes, um, but just, there are so many other things that happened in one day, so many glorious Disney trolls that got shut down in one day today, so, um, the screenshots are here from uh, from this one conversation. Before I get into palpy memes and silliness, <clears throat> once again, getting blocked by Disney bots. Always fun. So let's let, let's set the scene. Okay, this guy was um, posting about. Oh well, I guess it was. The SW Holocron uh, account was posting about how how great the Disney tri the Disney trilogy cinematography was and and the oh snap the uh, the greatness of uh, of Disney and blah blah blah. I'm just like okay okay guy. I I was having a blast laughing at that comment. And uh, of course, someone proceeded to get butt hurt about it. Let's enjoy this, shall we? I, I wanted to share my joy with all of you. A tale in two parts. The Last Jedi, heart emoji, and all of the uh, the lovely fight sequences and and uh, <laughs> puppeteering. <laughs> that doesn't even look like Yoda. It really doesn't. <laughs> the probably the worst fight scene in all of uh, anything to be labeled Star Wars. And of course, this guy states the obvious. The choreography for the throne room fight is so awful. So is your profile pic. <laughs> and then I respond, oh come on now, it's not nearly as bad as your preference for movies. And the this person responding, so is your profile pic, is another, another bot. Uh, she, her pronouns in bio every freaking time. Every time these people are obsessed with their pronouns and else uh, having to do with something that might make unique, make them unique or whatever. They're not unique because they use their pronouns, but they think they are. You know, that, that's what society is racist to value. Your pronouns in your bio show how proud you are to be this or that, like, you know, like you have a choice, you know, even if, even trans people can't, don't have a choice, like, as much as they want to play this game and pretend, they are who they are born as, so anyway, 
big Dragon Ball fan responds, it's called an, it's called, not it's called, it's called an opinion. And he has this, all he can do is spam this picture of, uh, of, of, of this really old, dusty meme of a, of, a micro, of a microphone to a trash can, which is hilarious to me and says anything else. So, let me get this straight. <clears throat> It's call an opinion, right? But as soon as I state my opinion, though, oh no, he he starts screeching, screeching about my opinion, though. <laughs> this is this is the best English. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let, let me get to this. <laughs> then I respond, "Why are you sharing pics of Ryan Johnson with me? <laughs> Why are you sharing pics of a Ryan Johnson interview with me?" One taste in movies are trash because of a movie you didn't like, so I guess everyone who enjoys the prequels have bad tastes. It's like caveman speak. I, I wonder if this person learned English. Yeah, and that's my opinion of their opinion and yours. Also, not sure why you insist on sharing Ryan Johnson pics with me. You must be a super fan. <laughs> and then, of course, he blocked me. It's an opinion gets supremely butthurt when any other opinions are shared. I'm surprised you didn't spam more pics of your lord and savior Ryan Johnson at me. Blocked. Blocked. Insta-blocked. I can't have... It, as soon as you... As soon as you start to ask them questions, they expose themselves. They're, they're just bots. Uh, really, they're just shilling for a company that doesn't care about them. Uh, it was just a hilarious little exchange just to see how triggered they get when you insult their their freaking lord and savior ryan johnson and his his supposedly beloved trilogy when everyone starts roasting his trilogy and then they get super triggered you know on the internet <laughs> you know it's an opinion unless it offends someone <laughs> Then it oh no no that then is not an opinion. <laughs> it's that is not an opinion. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, besides all, that, I mean, I just had a blast on Twitter today, just just laughing at these idiots. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's get, let's get back to Palpy and uh, and his his video. Let, let, let's 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 see what that's about. Because everyone is roasting, everyone is roasting this. Everyone from uh, from freaking uh, just some guy is roasting this. Oh, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there were a ton of roasts. <laughs> Truly, generations to come will lovingly talk about Ray Lightsaber, Commander Nightshirt, Purple Hair, aka uh, Admiral Gender Studies. <laughs> the Asian lady who wanted to save horses, Grumpy Luke, the black stormtrooper who was cancelled from the story because China is racist. <laughs> oh my god, bro. <laughs> the, the, the sequel trilogy was so garbage. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, this is Palpy memes. Everyone was just roasting this. People are trying to get the Star Wars sequel trilogy deleted from canon. Yeah, how does that feel? How does that feel? I wonder how that feels. Yeah, yeah, it, karma is a bitch, ain't it? it that's funny to me. <laughs> I, I, I mean, uh, that is hilarious that you would, would, would bitch about this. This is comedy gold, as I always say. This is hilarious. Okay, so you want to delete the sequels? Oh, but they were souped as fuck when it came to the EU. They, they, oh yeah, they were. Oh yeah, they were jizzing themselves when it came to the EU getting getting deleted by 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 the overlords at Disney. They they were just straight up orgasming all over the place because oh yeah. Disney, Disney, yes, Disney. Now we're gonna have Star Wars movies every single freaking year, and the quality's gonna be awesome, just like Avengers. And they're just gonna treat it the same way that George Lucas did, even better than George Lucas treated his own freaking franchise. <laughs> oh my god! And, and after, 
what, what, uh, oh, yeah, what, it's hour-long videos roasting each and every one of Ryan Johnson's abominations in the Star Wars sequel trilogy after uh, video after video after video um, showing how this sequel trilogy was complete and utter garbage, a complete and utter abomination <laughs> that lost money with each each sequel <laughs> that they made in the trilogy. I, I I don't get how people are still defending the the sequel trilogy, but but you know what? Maybe uh, you know what Disney <laughs> Disney probably pays these people a lot of money to show for them. <laughs> there was something else from before. I wanted to share with you guys. <laughs> Critics waiting for that Disney check to clear. Wait, hold on, hold on. This is about this is about the Eternals, but it's still on the subject of Disney. <laughs> Apparently, Eternals is reviewing badly. Well, I'm kind of shocked, but not surprised. Shocked because this is the first film <laughs> where it's more common. Not surprised because honestly, the trailers have not really impressed. Is it bad because of the obvious reasons, or is it bad because Disney didn't pay off the critics? Yeah, well, I mean, it seems like I'm not alone in, in my opinion that Disney has critics on his payroll. Hmm. Yeah. Who'd have thunk it that a billion dollar corporation could pay people to, to hype up its own movie? That they could pay people to uh, write good reviews? I, I mean, the sequel regret is just seeping through. <laughs> oh yeah, this was the, this was the thread. <laughs> And this is his response. Such a great movie. Luke's arc is so inspiring. And Ryan Johnson did a wonderful job. On the film. <laughs> oh my god. He's such an obvious shill, dude. I, I just. Like, it's just. Wow. Okay, buddy. <clears throat> Yeah, could you bl could you blow Ryan Johnson just a little bit harder? I mean, like you know, he only destroyed your childhood. I mean, but you're unable to. Yeah, because this is this is the little little bitch that blocked me. Why are you sharing pics of Ryan Johnson in interview with me, bro? <laughs> like I know it's only a trash can, but who could tell the difference? <laughs> but um, yeah, that it's just like these people. They go through such hoops just to just to show for the, for this. I mean, this first of all, this is his first production that he somehow died from using a, a pro, from projecting yourself across the galaxy. Oh snap! Like, <laughs> just what? What, bro? Oh man, I have a better vi vision of how the how the sequel trilogy could have been in my mind than Kathleen Kennedy had ever conceived like could have ever conceived in her entire life like it, just they should have just put the fans in charge of uh you know where the direction of this film should have been hostility towards the fans in in film form that's what the sequel trilogy is so anyway th this this show uh this film ray skywalker series win yeah how about never the, the most random like they didn't even get the um the knights of ren this whole thing they didn't even do they even show up in the films or, or did, were they, they even um, a major fact faction in the films like no not from what i've heard <laughs> not from the stuff i've seen so far i've only seen that they've only come up in comics and of course he's shilling every single disney wars oh god yo it's just like they pay these people i'm pretty sure they pay these people to do this uh, you know or, or there's some kind of mutual mutually beneficial thing they, they they're getting out of this which is probably first access probably first access towards all of disney's uh crap they can um write the reviews about it but yeah this is his this is his little wait hold up Let, let's just let's just see his video <laughs> I, I i was <laughs> i i just saw um just some guys <laughs> retweet of this oh, the, of this show okay so look, look people are trying to get the star wars sequel trilogy deleted from canon really really my guy Really? Okay. Re re I, I remember all the memes, people trolling us when the EU was getting was getting removed from canon. 
Um, sad, this is not something Lucasfilm should abide to, and I made a video on why. <laughs> so I said, oh really? So when people want to delete the Disney canon, it's wrong. But remember we told y'all Kam Karma is a bitch. They laughed at us. They laughed at us, and now they're crying. And they're mad as hell because they know it's even they have to admit it now they can't like hide behind this oh well the the sequels are so great no one likes the sequels no one i mean it's just so universe it's like 90 percent of star of people who have ever liked anything star wars hate the sequels because of what they did um you know there's all there's a laundry list of things to hate about the sequels and I mean, the, the, the prequels, you could argue, okay, yeah, they were, you know, for if you're a grown adult watching them, you were like, oh, yeah, they they were kind of annoying. But yeah, they kind of grew on me afterwards. I mean, no one, like, you talk to any Star Wars fans and you'll see, oh, yeah, well, you know, one, two, and three really kind of grew on me as, as they progressed. I mean, the only people that really kind of hate the prequels are, uh, are probably the, um, uh, the quote-unquote critics who are like oh well haha you didn't like episode one therefore you didn't like the whole prequel trilogy i mean some people had you know were had mixed opinions about episode one but if you were in the theaters and you saw darth maul whip out a double-bladed lightsaber for for the first for the first time ever on screen then uh you know you you were hype as hell in, in that theater it, it didn't matter yeah, at least not to me it didn't matter you know because i was just like oh snap like what the like i was i was like maybe uh eight years old when seven or eight years old when episode one came out and i was i was so hype seeing that on screen for the first time and having read all the books and having read all the expanded universe lore and like you know prepped myself mentally for this uh for this movie i was i was just hooked and and i couldn't wait for episode two episode two came out and it was all right i think episode two was the most lukewarm episode in the prequel trilogy it wasn't terrible but it there were parts where it kind of lulled off and you know especially the roman it was and as i got older i realized that it was the romance part <laughs> i mean it was just the rope it was just the romance the romance kind of uh i was just like Ugh, i don't know like is this over yet but anyway that's getting off topic the sequel trilogy is just let's take everything that episode four five and six did take a giant shit on it and say screw you to the fans <laughs> like the, those books that you were waiting on to be adapted into movies screw you <laughs> middle fingers up that that screw you uh we're doing it our way and we don't care what you think even though you've invested 30 years of your lives uh buying and making um making the uh Ex star wars expanded universe the most beloved uh and best-selling book series on yeah you know, probably ever in science fiction um <laughs> so keep your shitty disney canon <laughs> we'll always have the, the Star Wars expand in the universe. If the sequel trilogy is canon, then episode one through six cannot be canon. Stick Kenobi, this is this is what he's saying. Need to pick one of the two. Stuff we see in the sequel trilogy actually shows us that certain things in the six movies couldn't possibly have happened in the same universe. Well, Disney trilogy fans hate and resent real Star Wars, so they'll choose Disney as canon if given the chance. They want to remove all importance from the sequels because they remove all importance from episodes 1 through 6. Palpatine never even died, and Anakin was stupid for turning to the dark side because Jedi are able to save people from dying. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, Force Heal was always was always a power but it was never like it was net like ray just comes in and straight I, I cannot even stress enough like just how broken ray is and how much she breaks the whole lore of star wars man i mean it's, it annoys me to even think about it 
I didn't like the sequels, but deleting them from canon is one of the stupidest ideas I've ever heard. That would mean they're canon to begin with. Dang, bro. <laughs> I'm just going to give you a quick reminder of what is now referred to as Legends and how Disney shot all over the meanders of the expanded universe because while they didn't have their own ideas they didn't want to work with that stuff too weird i guess not marketable enough let me just retweet, retweet this shit right here because exactly what i've been saying karma is a bitch We told them, we said, what happens in 10 years when Disney deletes, the, when Disney deletes, or when someone else comes around and deletes the Disney canon? What happens in 10 years? <laughs> Ray Skywalker is too valuable as a brand and will rival, <laughs> is this guy for real or is he like trolling? Oh God, oh God. <laughs> Removing, thank you, removing the importance of stories that so many put their hearts into didn't stop Disney from decanonizing all of the expanded universe just to dodge paying royalty fees. Like, just, uh, if that was the whole reason, just screw Disney, man. I mean, like, honest to God, man. Looking forward to see how all the sequel haters react when the Mandalorian connects the, the sequel trilogy. That's what we're waiting for. If it does, even those remaining supporters will be done with it. But Favreau and Filoni have already retconned the sequel tragedy, if you've been paying attention. The entire reboot continuity is a joke, an abomination, and a slap in the face to the legacy of Star Wars and its fans. In a sane world, it never would have been made. Yeah, Disney chopped off the entirety of the expanded universe as canon, so it's only fair. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> the sequel trilogy destroyed Star Wars and good riddance to it, removing all importance of the films that so many put their hearts into. Glares in expanded universe. <laughs> I mean, I would laugh my ass off if this actually happened, but the, just the fact that they're actually talking about this might actually be a preview of things to come, because you know these people, oh, like, you know, you, how they hype up things on the internet, um, on these websites, like, oh, it, could this actually happen? You know what's gonna happen. Like, could so-so-and-so be making such-and-such -such into a movie? You, once they ask these questions on these websites, you know it's going to happen. Like, there's a high chance of it happening, or at least someone is thinking about doing it. That's the whole reason why they're asking the question. They, they want to hype it up and pique your interest. But, um... <clears throat> yeah, so, okay, let, let's, let's watch this video. Disney Hoes Mad. Disney Hoes Mad the movie. Let's, let's, if let's you enjoy want this. the sequel trilogy to be deleted from canon and remade, then you should probably also want the same to happen to the prequels. I mean, think about it. That is terrible logic. People want the sequels deleted and completely remade because they were not happy with the stories and or characters, which is fair. However, with the same logic, shouldn't the prequels be remade, or is your point of view coming from a rather self-centered one? Now, the prequels have a lot of fans now, myself included. It is the Star Wars that I grew up with and the characters that really got me into the franchise. That said, there are a ton, and I mean a ton of people, who felt the movies lacked any form of good storytelling and execution and that the characters are all one-dimensional, you know, besides Jar Jar. I could go on about all the issues people had with these films. The movies, like the sequels, fell flat to a lot of fans of the franchise, and they were extremely disappointed. To them, the only Star Wars that existed was the original trilogy. Yeah, and even we knew that. There's, there's a faction of fans that is just strictly OT, but they are, like, largely the minority. Kids that grew up, in the 90s, kids that grew up in the 80s, you know, largely in the 90s though, when we had no Star Wars films coming out and we supported the expanded universe and the prequels and whatever, we didn't care. Like, people, a lot of people I knew didn't really care. 
but you know there were a small minority of people that were like oh only the old cheese like good oh like there were people like that but they weren't like the ma the majority and nowadays you ask people they'll be like well in comparison to the sequel trilogy the prequels are actually really good i mean they, they were really good they stand alone as great films it's still george lucas's vision for his, and it all it's all coherent like when you when you take episodes one through six and you watch them, it's all coherent, you know, and and it makes sense, you know, because that's the story he wanted to tell, and he told his story, and people got mad, oh well, well you know, uh, mad at him at, about the prequels. I'm like, bro, that's his story that he wanted to tell. You know, is you're not you're not George Lucas, you're not writing Star Wars. If the man wants to wants to put this out, and if he feels like it's telling a different part of his story then let him do that but people got so mad episodes one through three that's the whole reason why he sold it you know and and like i've said before i don't think all of that was was organic i think most of it was just astroturf to get him to sell it to, to someone to disney and disney was sitting right there in the wings notice how they were sitting right there right there to pick it up 2012 like what was it 2012 or 2013 um <clears throat> sitting right there to pick it up ah anyway let, let's continue watching watching this guy and his terrible logic oh well you must have you must also want the no we don't because it was part of george lucas's main story his main six-part story that he wanted to tell so i mean it's about the origin of darth vader so yeah no no one is arguing that oh yes well the prequels should also be deleted i mean people can like them or not like them i mean there are certain prequels uh i think the most disliked prequel for me was episode two i mean i when i was a kid i actually liked you know i thought jar jar binks was was pretty funny you know but i was a kid and now i look back and i'm just like eh. like it's not as funny you know but i was a kid you know he was he appealed to the kids anyway let's 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 this crap does this sound familiar so should they remake these movies to please more of the fans and make a quote better story that fits what they wanted the answer is no that's not how storytelling works the reason is that whether you like the sequels hate the sequels love the prequels or hate the prequels there are lots and lots of fans who hold a deep compassion and love for the films that you yourself may hate and are disappointed with so why should we take that away from them you know something i see a lot especially with certain youtubers is people acting as if their opinion and viewpoint of the sequels is more valid than those who were happy with the films like me which is just ridiculous and if you genuinely feel that way then should we also listen to those oh, who hated the prequels because up. believe it or not they also wished for the same thing to happen to those films that you hope happens to the sequels and if your answer is no, Terrible then Corey, my question is, why not? If we're going to be listening to Bob the Builder over here and agree to delete these sequel films from canon and take away all importance of them, then why should we not do the same with prequel haters? There's virtually no difference in these scenarios at all, except for one thing, and that is the movies that you like or dislike. Wrong. Wrong. Again, it's George Lucas's vision versus some corporate overlord who doesn't give a shit about the lore and the years of history behind Star Wars and just just doesn't care. As long as it has spaceships, uh, the modern social justice uh, message and uh, mud diversity in it, they don't care. Okay, that's the difference. When you, when you have someone who, who made and wrote it, and loves it and treasures the franchise versus some uh, greedy corporate exec who uh, is only thinking about the money and uh, how to appeal to the lowest common denominator. But Palpa memes, the prequels actually have good storytelling unlike the sequels. <laughs> yeah, they do. I hear this critique all the time and it just has me lost. You know, as much as I do love the story in episode one, two, and three, they still have plenty of apparent flaws in them, just like the sequels. But the thing is, it is, at the end of the day, all subjective. 
I, for one, was very happy with the story the sequels gave us. You may not have liked it, and that's okay. I, I definitely don't agree with every decision that was made for these movies, and there are issues I take with the overall story. However, I was still very happy with them, and I think the thing that the sequels hold strongest is the characters, and more specifically, their arcs, you know, like Luke's, Ben's, and Ray's. So to sort of recap everything, the point of this video is not to say that you're wrong for criticizing some movies. People seem to misunderstand these statements with that a lot, so I really need to make that clear. That's not what I'm saying here. What I'm saying is, if you think these movies should be redone based on what you want, but don't think the same should happen to those who want the prequels done in a better way, then honestly, there's a bit of hypocrisy there. So guys, with all that said, I want to know your thoughts down below. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you agree with my opinion? Or do you disagree? And if you disagree, let me know why. I'm open to new conversation. I'm open to new ideas and opinions, as we all should be. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like on it, as it really does. Just a, a nonsensical take. Uh, like, like, just... Okay, well, you know, then you obviously want the prequels. No, prequels are actually decision, and, and to even call them prequels is, is a disrespect to the franchise. I mean, honestly, like, I, I, I personally have never liked the term, but it, it's, it's basically one saga, and calling them prequels um, is kind of an insult. And this is uh, just some guy responding to this. Uh, people are. Tr this would be a better argument if Disney didn't nuke the entire expanded universe so many put their hearts into. Be that the fans or those who created the books and games, or who Disney decided to shaft by refusing to pay out royalties. Yeah. 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 And then these are the same people that said, oh, oh, I've, <laughs> I, 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 we have nothing to work with. Yeah, this guy's wrong, though. Lucas actually valued the EU and contributed to the EU. So, I mean, like. But aren't these the same people? Who trolled us with memes like this your cannon is dead son accept it <laughs> karma is a bitch ain't it karma is a bitch Disney cannon was dead on arrival baby maybe it's time y'all accepted it too This is your boy Coast. Just having some fun on Twitter. It's been a while since I've done a stream, done anything like this, but um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just glad I could, I could do it one more time. Um, it's popping at these corporate shows uh, and their hypocrisy. They did the same thing. <laughs> People didn't care. They said, oh, well, it's too bad. Too bad. It's dead, son. Get over it. No. No. <laughs> oh, well, well how, how, how would you like it? How, how would you like it? We, 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 we told them. We told them years ago. We said, how would you like it if Disney just all of a sudden... They know snapped the entire their their entire their entire canon. Or if someone came along and, and did that to them. Yeah. And, and oh well you should you should be more considerate. You should be more considerate when it happens to us. Play me a friggin' violin. I got I got the violin right here. <laughs> it's been a while since I busted it out. You want me to bust it out? I can bust out that violin. Hold up, hold up. No, no, I'll, I'll do that some other day. But um, it's just, it's hilarious how hypocritical these people are. When, when it's them, then oh snap, like, oh, you, you can't do that. You, you can't say those mean words about the, about the sequel trilogy. That's, that's hurtful. People put their livelihood into this. Oh, but, but when it comes to, uh, 
<laughs> oh yeah, and you're a hypocrite because the sequel trilogy was um, the prequel trilogy was just as hated. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. <laughs> was it? Really was it? Um, I mean, pre- prequel trilogy got flack for boomers of the franchise. A lot of fans were just like, oh, well, you know. I mean, at least that's the vibe I got. You know, I, I loved all six films. I, f- I just felt like, well, finally we're getting a complete uh, six to or sexology or hexology yeah hexology well um it's just like the sequels were something completely different something hyped up as completely separate and and it would be better than george lucas's crappy prequel trilogy oh yeah you know (laughs) george we're gonna make star wars better than george lucas could yeah he's george lucas said bet bet He said, okay, okay, uh, you think you could do better than me? Okay, I'll, I'll let you have it. I'll let you have it. <laughs> you knew full well that, that the greedy-ass corporate culture at Disney was not going to uh, to do his franchise any justice. I didn't think he would, he, even he envisioned them doing this poorly with his franchise. And, and um, you know, basically, look at how they massacred my boy. It, it, it's... That's what Star Wars is now. Star Wars is the epitome of that meme, of that Godfather meme. Look how they massacred my boy. <sighs> anyway, this is close. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I, I go. I could go on for a whole, this whole, this whole nonsense and just the hypocrisy. Look, it's the boy, Coast.